different kind of hero player combinations <laughs> we've got coming out. Indeed, as was hyped up, the Collapse Magnus. But over on the side of LGD, the Tinker. There's been so many games, so many drafts in this in this tournament that a lot of people have felt that maybe it was the time to bring it out. It didn't happen, but it's happening now. Do they have the answer for this? Nothing to say, Tinker from the side of Spirit. Can could they be, deal with it? Oh, could be some limited answers, but if anything they do have is base control and base defense. There's skewers, there's an ET to hold ground, high ground, there's tidal waves and whatnot too. I think we're in for an absolute treat. Who knows which way this one's going to go, but all I know is it's going to be a fun one. Absolutely. I mean, when you look at both drafts, what do you feel that both teams have really kind of gone for with their approach to this game? I mean, we just heard it right there from Sana. I think it's a lot of comfort, right? Comfort, but also definitely a lot of heroes that are really popular currently at the moment. But you see Yotaro's bringing out his Terrorblade, which he hasn't been playing as much as some of the other carries. And of course, NTS playing his Tinker. I think it is just these two teams. They know a lot about each other, and we're going to see we're gonna see that quickly defined in this game. Absolutely. We'll see. See how sort of how well Lal can do in the matchup here against nothing to say is Tinker and sort of beyond the laning stage who's going to be the, the hero that has the answer to lock nothing to say down and stop him from being able to freely jump around the, the team fights in the later stages of the game yeah because overall you tend to see you know, the spirit heroes used to be the answer of course for the Tinker even the Zeus of course would have his merit but overall in this game looking at spirit the catching for this Tinker could be difficult they have the ET spirit probably one of the best scouting tools and the Kunker in particular to get catch this Tinker, but could fall into some issues. Nothing to say. I, it's a nothing to say Tinker, right? If he's able to get away with it, he will take over this map. And they have a lot of aggressive potential that they can do with Global. They have a DA as well with this Tinker too, so it's got to be a lot of damage that they can have in that early mid-game. Right, looking at the side lane matchups, what do you think we're going to get out of this bottom one? The classic sort of CK AA safe lane duo from Shira and Why You Smile going up against uh, the signature, uh, the Collapse Magnus, which will be backed up by Mira's Shadow Demon. Uh, anybody going to have difficulties down this bottom lane? Is there kill potential for either of the sides? That's a good question. I mean, overall, CK I don't think has really had any difficult times. As we're saying, this new top, trying to make a bit of a, a chase down on towards it. I just put the meta for that one, but news fine. Zoning him away, though. They're going to take a few extra punches here from Eposhka. Back up in from Planet. Maybe just a bit of a bait as new. He's ready to turn with Planet and start to get aggressive over towards the Elder Titan. They're in with the first turn, follow up with the Hoos. Um, they got the burst. They'll find first blood. That's nice LGD bait Meposhka perfectly. Nice play from Planet. You know, sometimes you do see, you know, these four positions and these greedy supports. They tend to just hit the creeps when something like this has happened. Planet immediately runs to his body, so quick little identification. They can go for that kill. Yotoro does get pretty much every single last hit out of it there, but a good kill for this Centaur to start off. Yeah, that was, yeah, the first usage of the meta, so there'll be this long period now where New and Planet unlikely to feel under any sort of heat themselves. He's feeling very solid in the lane, and Meposhka have to be very careful with his position. A bit of an advantage they'll get off that kill. They could look to go again if Meposhka gets too sort of ahead of himself. No, absolutely. We haven't seen too much of the ET, right? I think it was only nine pandas who've been playing it so too much here, but you can understand the idea what they want from it. I think T was talking a lot on the panel about just trying to stall, get that farm up. It's a very, very farm heavy team that Team Spirit's looking for this time around. And it's a lineup that can stall forever. You get a stomp on one person when they're trying to push at some point. You get skewers back in the base, the tidal waves, etc. So. I'm talking about stalling, you know, this key I was seen some incredibly long games come out. If this was one to, to go to the later stages, who's going to have the better job of stalling and carrying out this this game through the later portions? Spirit has a pretty scary one, but it's going to be the test too, because the Tinker, if he's at a point where he's just absolutely out of control, he can just take over uh, He can right? And it's five. nothing to say, yeah. so it's definitely potential for him having that if he gets off to a good start. And so far, it is pretty good. Having a very good match matchup here versus Laurel, but Laurel is handling yep. 16 3, 17 4, pretty much dead even. Yeah, they're both basically free farming in the mid lane, pushing it back and forth. So no one getting shut out completely at that one. Top lane, bit of aggression here is new, trying to put the set out there, put the ink to swap up with the stomp. Ooh. Coming nicely from Meposhka. Off the bat, and now if we get the ink swap pop onto your Toro. Still on bringing this terribly incredibly low. New's gonna be able to close with the It didn't matter that they didn't connect with the ink swap, they still managed to take your Toro down. My great place from new. Lacking a little bit on the last hits, but getting these kills, it's going to set him up for a pretty damn early Vanguard. He's actually buying the boots, so looking for more aggression in this lane. I mean, I like it. It's a lot of magic damage up here versus this squishy Terror Blade. Yeah, it's got to be pretty frightening for Spirit, right? They're losing heroes, despite the fact that LGD didn't need to hit all the spells. Exactly. It's a scary part of the map already here in the first few minutes. This top lane for Team Spirit, they've got to be more careful. And perhaps need to have that extra backup come in if LGD try for that little play again. 
spear. Has been to set up perhaps on the nut in a say, a rotation that's probably unexpected here. Save the damage. Set up into the torrent. Uh, there's nothing to say. He's got the laser at the red. No, still has the X mark, but back up to the poison mark. Gets the drag back with the X mark. One more poison. There's a lot of damage that's going to be coming in on this Tinker. That's not enough not to quite. pop him, though. Nothing to say. Manages to escape. The, the attempt point. unsuccessful by Spirit. I think the blood grenade was off the mark there. I think it didn't right? connect. I don't think it connected. I think <laughs> if it hits, it's very likely to get the kill. It would have been very close. Yeah, it would have been close. Good attempt there from here. Not expect the gank. I don't think they saw that one coming, but that's the beauty of the Shadow Demon. I think that's maybe also part of the reason, besides, of course, Kunkka being so popular, but this hero stacks, this hero's good to gank with most of his cores. I mean, yeah, with the Magnus and with that Kunkka, it's definitely set up. A close start. Despite the kills that LGD have been able to pick up, as you can see on the last hits, it's not shaking up Team Spirit. Team Spirit's three cores slightly ahead at uh, this stage right now. Collapse. He's more than happy to be left on his own down here. Mira could continue to roam the map right now. This Magnus in a position where he'll be under no sort of threat really from this laning stage unless they bring in additional members, which is unlikely. The focus from LGD very much going to be towards this top lane, getting the pressure from the Terra Blade and just making sure they have that backup when required away. Hey, look at this top lane. It's big damage. It's set up with the combo onto your turret. It's Wait easily enough. As Nude uh -oh. takes him down, not an easy lane as we're seeing here for the Terra Blade. You know, your Tori, absolute master on this hero, but getting that caught out by out. LGD's combo. And he's overall a pretty squishy hero throughout this game versus all the magical bursts that they're going to be having super early in the game, right? That's the reason that the Tinker gets picked up. If your Toro gets off to a slow start, yeah, that's rough. It'd be hard for him to catch back up. The other thing about the Tinker is that, that people used to talk about it's not just that you have this big burst to be able to find this Terra Blade, it's also you just clear the illusions. So TB thrives on being able to farm the map without showing himself. Tinker can easily just show up, wipe those illusions out, constrict the farm too. So, tough start for Yatoro Nu. Uh, he's been, honestly, he's been the one to watch for me these last few games. His Brewmaster took over, his Night Stalker as well, and now his Centaur is off to a phenomenal start. At the least, you know, obviously a Terra Blade, Yatoro, he's on a hero that can absolutely back up and recover from yes. through the farm and from the jungle. But uh, not the, the kind of start he would have hoped to have had. Still trying to hover around this top lane, but it's getting scarier and scarier for Spirit to be up there. I mean, they've already started moving heroes. They move wide top, so they have the three top, and then they have the CK and a 1v1 for Magnus. For Magnus, that's fine for CK. They're going to try and step in from the Poshka. This time, TP backup will be coming in. Lal ready to try and help turn things around, but Nui's in with those. He still gets the kill. Yeah, but he just take the kill. There's nothing they can do to stop Nui in that attempt. See if they can hold him back at all. I mean, Lyle's looking towards him, but he's just walking he's away. He's going to be able to walk it off. Lyle's not going to be able to throw anything down onto the centaur. He's just getting away with everything and, in this top lane new. And it's a cool approach, because I feel like it... I feel like in almost every one of these games, people just default a lot of times. Like, oh, I'm having a good lane. I go Vanguard. You can't kill me. No, Nude's like, I'm going phase boots. I'm going bring out. I'm playing the aggressive centaur. And so far, look at that differential. He has a thousand and gold over. Yeah, I think an exciting start to the game. You can see already in the net worth. This yes. is very much going to be down to the off laners to see what both of them can do. New coming in with a hot start through this early laning stage. See in the mid, they'll get the setup. Stop into the boat. Is it enough though? They're gonna turn and get the laser up onto Lyle. No further hits coming in, but the X mark is still there. Now the TP backup comes into play. LGD wanting to, to try and do their best to keep nothing to say safe, and it will work. This guy of spirit can't go in any further. See Collapse is also swung across, but the silence was there immediately. Stampede comes out for new. LGD able to separate themselves from Team Spirit's attempts. All the little things mattering. Brain drop and a bracer. Maybe not something you expect to see on the Tinkers too much, but nothing to say he knows. Be a little bit tankier first that versus burst as Laurel. Should be right here, planet. Yeah. Just throwing out a blood grenade for a bit of fun. And as we know, there's a lot of aggression going on so far for LGD lanes are looking good. But as Candle said, and as we see, it's a greedy draft that Spirit is setting some of themselves up for. And looking at the stacks, they're getting them prepped. I think this is what a quad, a quad hard camp stamp or something like that at the moment set up inside that triangle for the Kunkka. So they will have these recovery outlets. No, for sure. Spirit can calm things down even just a little bit. Very likely that you're going to see your Toro's Terra Blade get back up to the top spot in that work. As long as they don't lose these stacks. I mean, they might have to go clear them pretty soon just in case of anything. Because if a Tinker walks over there, gets cleared in no time. Yeah, lanes. They've kind of broken the lanes a little bit here. LGD with this dominance from new. They're going to force your Toro into the jungle there. And the supports are having to make these moves around to get these stacks around to try to fix things. They're going to work on those stacks. In terms of Collapse's progress, he's of course going to go straight for that Blink Dagger. 1300 towards it, so it should be, be in trouble though. Having a good timing there. And with the silence with the three of them, there's a huge amount of damage that Collapse he cannot withstand. LGD. Clean. Taking kills wherever they want right now. 5 to 0. Planet well, making it happen. All five kills are at the back of this Grimstroke so far. Inkswell connecting perfectly. He's got, ma he's got level 3 Inkswell already too. I mean, this is very scary how much magic they have, damage they have. 
I knew he was gonna have such an early blink dagger too. He's just don't He's like, screw it. I don't even need the bang. He's gonna have it at such an early time for these early aggressive moves. And they're just continuing to pick up the pace here. It's gotten to the point now where Spirit, they're, they're not gonna be showing any faces up no. on this top lane. Unless they bring a lot of numbers. But Collapse, he actually did port down bottom, so TP will not be available for the Magnus to join if there's a big battle committed up top. So Glaro was able to sneak into the enemy triangle a little bit here. I think he stole a double stack, it looks like. Radiance so. bottom a little bit of extra gains for him. Posh just gotta be careful. He's hiding in the trees, trying to soak up some XP. He's gotta be so cautious. Giant Stampede's at the ready. So slowly but surely siege this top tier one tower, LGD. Maposha, he'll start to back off. He does not want to be around here. Too much of a push. They've got the vision on him. All right, that's pretty much the blink dagger going to be finished up for you right after that tower goes down. Trying to get level levels. Yeah, yeah. Why? Trying to get a little bit in the mid lane, but seems to keep knows something's up. Having that ward on the right side. Let's see the Kunk and the Shadow getting set up. Playing far left. Trying to get this level six online. Well, it's got the DD in the bottle, so good amount of burst if you can find some sort of setup Dyer's around this mid. Coral. Close Dyer's to six on AA. Oh my goodness. Top. So close. That's a wide six there. That just is probably a dead Kunkka. Well, has to be a little bit careful on the planet. Okay. He's going for the player. By he's himself. Up by the stampede. He's able to close in onto Maposhka. That's going to be Maposhka going Look down. Look at him go. Another kill here for LGD as a whole. They just are six to zero. Spirit still struggling to find anything so far in terms of kills from this early game. Jotaro, he's getting bullied out of this top lane. How's the TP out of that? He was just bringing the action to him. Him and Planet, right? The six kills, they're involved in five, and then six on the counterpart, they're Planet. Super active so far. You see the scans are coming out already. LGD, they're taking notes. They're like, all right, well, Spirit, they're going to back up to their triangle. Could see some early contest come out here, but they're actually just going to throw a casual AA blast to scout and potentially snipe someone. Won't connect, but a nice attempt. Yep, they're going to need time, and, you know, Yatoro, obviously, with his build, he's uh, approached that, has the Midas on the Terra Blade. He just wants to be hitting the creeps without any interruption. But we'll see if the rest of Spirit can create that sort of space for him. Collapse has got the solid timing on his Blink Dagger. He's Double keeping damage. it for now on the Courier. We'll see if they try and make some sort of move around this reveal of this pickup. It does feel complicated, though, especially with Yatoro going down full creep route for Midas. All of the heroes on LGD are going to be ready to fight at all. They want to try and get something there. TP over to the mid lane. Blink Dagger the ready for Got the, the jump. Gets the skewer back. Straight underneath the tower. Torah will miss, but it doesn't matter. They'll still get the kill. A solid Blink Blink dagger reveal there from Collapse. He is the one who kind of has to bring back that early game a little bit for them. Six to one. He finds the biggest catch he can. Another one potentially too. Yeah, should manage to find this one here. X mark straight back into the boat. It's going to be a couple of kills for Spirit as they start to get themselves on the board. Nicely done. does have that blink dagger finished, but as you said, you know, Nitaro, he's just chilling on the sidelines. Sounds like a little RP usage. And Getting that farm, so spirit. Gonna be a lot of that this game. Getting a quick kill, backing up farming, and it's gonna be up to LGD to punish this farm, to find these heroes and hunt. I mean, how they are looking for it. How easy is it for LGD's heroes to hunt down around that sort of tier two area top? Is, is it easy for them to set up to try and get the Terra Blade, or is it's a pretty safe part of the map for Spirit to hold, but the Yatora to keep farming up. It'll probably be pretty safe for some time, especially until they can get out that mid tower. Because there is a lot of counter gank. That's the one thing that Spirit's draft really thrives on, especially for like later stages and stuff like that. ET, Stomp, Magnus, and SD save, so multiple different things they can do to protect each other. If the kill doesn't happen instantly, it could get quickly turned. The gold now, Spirit, those stacks to work out. Three cores at 6k. And TS has been slowed down significantly just off that one kill. Really set up around the bottom tier 1, really, Spirit, just in case LGD were going to group up and try for a tier 1 tower push. I mean, they're going to have RP back up in about 20 seconds. Yeah, they're, they're, they're ready very ready for this fight. Yeah. And they do have, they will have pretty decent damage, at least because the ET does have okay levels. Maposha has hit 6, and Laurel is 11, so they do catch anybody near tower. Very likely they will just pop. Not for sure. I mean, they may have got that tier 1 on the, the top lane pretty early, LGD, but finding any of the other towers is not, not going to be an easy ordeal. No, they need to fight for it. They need to get a pick off first, ideally, or get some vision behind tower. They can't just go straight for these towers versus this Magnus. It's going to be down to if you like can get trying. the jump here. Smoke up from the three of them, new. It's more down. And the two support. They've got the Inkswell buff. They'll go for the jump on Maposhka. Quick and easy. So if they can turn this into anything else. Carl is immediately top. rotating over. Has a shield rune as well, too. He, this is hard for at them. He is incredibly tanky. They do not have the damage for him at this point. If he gets a shield rune off. 
They'll back off. They'll get the kill. They'll pull back here, LGD. They're actually going to give nothing to say the Wisdom Rune as well, too. I think he was perhaps farming the left side, but they'll giving him, they have to give him anything he can just to get him boosted up a little bit. And he is going to... I mean, at the moment, he's got the Aghanims queued up, so... It does feel pretty awesome versus a lot of these tanky heroes and stuff like that, right? So besides just the Terror Blade, of course, that counter, but... Yeah, cool. The game resuming at this sort of pace, I think... He'll be happy. Yatora that is indeed going to be in a very happy place. It's a freely catch up here in the farm and the stage and what will continue to be. You know, this is one of those games where he's going to probably be the only man with the Midas. Does feel in the long run that should be set to pay off unless LGD can continue to put you know, the pressure on. Ready, ready to go again. Collapse. He's got the RP. They're hunting. They see the courier moving toward top. Might have to just settle for an AA. Yeah, they don't have to use RP. It's a free easy kill. Not the biggest they would hope for. Get you the kill. Yep. Perfectly set up. Quick move towards the Twin Gates now. Ooh. See if they can make a play down bottom as well. This the, the remainder of the smoke. They've still got a few seconds left onto it. New, he's just he's close to showing himself on the wave. Huge if they're able to and they're bringing the further tanker, team around the tier one. It, it's it's a tanky hero. Again, any sort of setup. Maybe mirror of disruption, but not new. He's already out of the area. Radiant's top tower. Scary place to be. Look at the TP's coming in. In fact, LGD bringing three further TP's in on this one. They're happy to try and fight this. They get the setup here straight away onto Mira. They'll find the Shadow Demon. Battle Vision as soon as somebody shows himself. And that board will actually expire 30 seconds. So it won't actually be a team ward. Quick, easy kill. Yeah, it's all right. Making the most of it, though, knowing that with that sort of focus down bottom, he was able to push forward an extra couple of waves on the top lane, get some pressure onto the tier one tower, so maximizing what he can, even in these scarier parts of the map. And I'm watching it. I was actually checking to see if Collapse was trying to throw any powers on him as that meta was wearing down. I think he is maybe looking to do so, but still looking for plays. Collapse, he's constantly looking for something. I mean, sorry, LGD, we yeah. continually see them grouped up pretty heavily. I mean, at the moment, right, we've got four of them around this mid lane. I'd imagine for them, they're looking to accelerate a little bit I more. I think so, right? That CK with his timing, because right now he's absolutely a menace. He's got this Echo Saber and Armlet finished up, so if he joins with this team, he's quite a bit stronger than Yotoro if he joins in. Yeah, you've got to imagine they want to fight. They don't want to sit back out. No, I would imagine not. The Shard is also finished. Planet bought it right away in 15 minutes, so a very, very strong dispel, especially versus something like RP. He's able to be in a good position on this Grimstroke. He can stop a lot of aggression that comes out from Team Spirit. I'm gonna keep my eyes on Planet, because he was quite a big difference maker yesterday as well, too, on his Rubik. The spell steals he was able to do, he's been phenomenal, so I'm gonna be looking at him. Collapse. Ready to go. Smoke up between himself and Mira. Okay. Got decent catch. damage now with the Echo Saber completed they over the Blink Dagger. All five heroes are set up in the area as well. A little bit of a bait, they could look to jump again. LGD, they are prepared for this one, but Spirit, they have the numbers. Well, trying to fish for something here with the torrent. Not gonna find anything. They have ward vision inside that lane, so they do see every time that LGD does step up at you. He's actually making the first move. And we'll see if that collapse. He's able to jump in before that gets the drag back on the way you smother. Bring down the AA. Spirit getting a bit split there with the focus of heading over towards that jump that they made around the mid, but indeed the they left their Kunkka vulnerable on the top lane. And he had vision too. They have that lane ward, so he saw it completely coming in, but just got caught Radiance off guard. Maybe just the communication that was happening on the side. Caught off guard. It's a big kill. Radiance Slowing down Laura's momentum. We watched Shiro get the last. Yes, Shiro got the last Radiance hit as well too, so bumped up a little bit more. CK, Shiro, heading fantastic timings. He's huge. He really is. Quite large. And he's always going to have that buff up, of course, from that grip stroke. Radiance LGD, top tower once fun. again, everybody to the mid lane. Really trying to look for, for these constant, consistent fights. Hey, look at the Poshka. They'll get the jump. New, in with the burst. There'll be a defensive disruption from Mira. There'll be no getting out of here for Meposhka. Easy support kills that LGD can continue to find. Just continuously, it's, it's new and planted every single time, making the setup happen. He's big. He almost has the heart finished up on the Centaur already. Once he disassembles the Vanguard, pretty much going to have to finish. 
Dyer's structures are fought. That'd be tough for them to, I mean, fully bring him down. ET Splitter, of course, is probably going to be the, one of their better damage functions. It's just that max HP damage is sometimes pretty difficult to keep the bullies in line with it. Yeah, Shira, he can really get involved. So He's turns up, takes the mid tier one tower with the BKB complete. Oh, okay. Very little chance that Spirit can take him down unless they catch him completely on his own and would fall down. And immediately just rebuys his Echo Saber, too. He's having a phenomenal, phenomenal start here. This is the timing for the CK. We'll see how much LGD can get done around this. Right now, I mean, they're not playing, like, super rushed by any means. I'm sure they're like, we also scale really hard. They always will have this Tinker versus that TB matchup. So he is getting closer and closer to that Aghanim. Maybe that'll be the call where they start taking over the map a little bit more, because I mean, it's, it's pretty even in terms of gold so far. Zero. Yatoro. Gonna find Yatoro here with the opening. They're gonna have an Ice Blast blow. Time is well. Straight in on top of the tower by Yatoro. He's gonna be going He's down. Uh-oh. Did not expect LGD to be there, Yatoro, but they they find him as he walks straight into them completely on his own. Shiro gets handed a massive kill, and it is right as the Roshan is repositioning down toward bottom too, so they could consider even looking for it. I guess, I mean, in that sort of situation, what do you imagine was going through Yatoro's mind? He just didn't expect them to be playing around this part of the map? I guess not, right? Just got caught off guard. I mean, LGD has been incredibly active the way that they're swinging around the map supports and with new it's, it seems like three or four heroes are constantly together this kite's got off guard and now yeah that Roche is gone yeah that was gone a second and it was sort of the, the first time he'd really left his half of the map yep. i think yatori won't be doing that again anytime soon he went down the s and y pretty interesting one quite different than i feel like we usually do see on the terror blade we'll be able to secure themselves there so Mira? Mira? He's gonna oh be my fine. god he has a healing lotus <laughs> shout out from aposhka's elder titan <laughs> Aghanim's done. Didn't commit to finish the Roshan. That will still sit there. Oh, they didn't actually. Okay, good call. Down to about half HP and then decided to pull back from it. I guess they got a little bit scared because they Radiance didn't middle see exactly where all the heroes were. Aghanim's now finished. Dyer's with Laurel, his big power spike. Now he can look to get involved a little bit more for these team fights. But so far, it's been, in, again, just very farmy from Spirit. 11 to 4. Now for LGD, Aghanim's finished up for Tinker's so Yep, just still feels like they're going to be moving around at least with these two supports, looking for potential setups. Oh, we got Smoke Okay, Spirit's going to do it first. Spirit. See if uh, Yatoro wants to get involved or if he'll hold back to farm. Now it doesn't look like he's too keen in, in joining the smoke. Does have the, the Eagle Song done? Who are they going to find, though? He's going to show himself at least the illusions around the mid. Maybe see if he can get some sort of a bait. We'll join the smoke now. But he's ready to reveal. It's a full bait there with a push from the Terra Blade. Radiant's okay. middle tower has fallen. Ooh, they are able to grab him. Mean, you, he's walking up. 2800 HP Centaur. That's a hard one to go on, even if they get the vision upon him. Especially if, if they don't know where Planet is in particular, right? This Inkswell, it could just stop the entire aggression that comes out from them. They can find him. Try to get the grab. One. And who needs to get the grab? So drag him back. The snap is there. The ice block is returning. The defense done. 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 And a two for two, and it is LGD that are able to take down two cores. Yatoro gets time to farm, though, right? So it's, it's always like these positives and negatives they're going to get out of these smokes, even if they do lose some heroes. Closing in on the butterfly. Very close to having that one complete, at least. It's good that uh, Laurel actually got the Tarn Stone off. It was very close to him actually not getting that one off, and then they probably don't get that return kill. But even new, with that heart, you saw the damage that comes through. Quite a lot that actually blew him up. CK items. We'll Shadow Blade now for Shijiro. So I, the hunting is going to continue. I feel like for him, he's just going to continue to look to get involved. And a lot of these kills could just get popped if he's able to find them on his own. And that plus an AA Blaster plus a Tinker Rotation. I'll we'll have back there deal with the Tormentor okay. on that side of things. I'll find it. Careful. Nice. Get a pretty nice one there. Why you smile, able to finish his. On top of also now having his Yule Scepter. We've been seeing a lot more Yules, but it, I think it's also because of the rise of these Kungas and stuff like that. It's going to be very nice for him and also versus the Magnus, since I believe he did go for the Echo Saber on Collapse. So if they do have Vision as the fight starts, it could be difficult for Collapse to do the usual, you know, Harpoon Skewer kind of plays. He gets Yules up, they can just fully go for it. He's going to be trying to get that, trying to get that BKB online. Yeah, he's just uh, taking a bit of time. We will need it to be able to get that type of setup first. Still, 13-6, Gold continue to be very, very close, close, but LGD feel that they're feeling 
Probably feeling pretty good with getting away with this NTS Tinker so far. Not getting caught out too much. I was sort of in that bottom spot that developed the core for a while, but now he's caught up. up. Both collapse and you. Making that that's the right sort of progress here on his trajectory towards getting the BKB done himself. So he can jump around these fights without the threat of getting caught in a straight torrent from his torrent storm from Lyle. Yes, so that's the big thing, right? He absolutely needs this BKB versus torrent storm. River here. Deep of water of Spirit. So, I'm not aware that he gets picked up if they go for a play with this one. Shiro swinging around for it with his Shadow Blade. They're instantly smoking with it too. They want something, but it got seen. Like you said, Spirit, they were completely aware of it. So, everyone is just around the area. At least, even if he was in this. LGD can still catch them by surprise. Oh, the big clash looks like it's gonna happen here. Planet, he also buys a Blink Dagger for positioning on this Grimstroke. Look at the big jump. This should be full defensive right now. Oh, they know that LGD is going to be looking for this sort of move. They get the scan. They know where they are. Poshka, position to break it. Yeah, maybe they'll just allow support to get caught here. Laurel, be careful. He's got Tidal Wave. They have a ward on the high ground, perhaps. You can fish for somebody. Not getting the vision set up for themselves. They are going to go for it. They're going to get the two back as well. Up towards you. It's the next one. You. He's going to be able to pop the stampede still. Gets himself back up to the high ground. Both teams holding back from one another. Is there any further catch? Lyle trying to close the gap over towards New. They get a reflection out on towards the center. I mean, Spirit wants to catch something here. It's hard to so much. He's going to be able to wrap it up the back lines. He gets straight in on top towards them. But the Stuart there once more. Collapse getting Shiro under the tab. The BKB popped by the CK. Shiro stands back. So much. He's stuck. Holding together. He's stuck. They were the who's stuck. They're stuck. They're stuck. To the back, he can draw it down like the defense is just in contact from there. The finish of the cook is blown up here by the burst of the laser. Nothing to say, finding that huge kill, taking out the Terror Blade in the midst of the fight. Oh, Both man. teams to lose two. The mind games from these fights too. They like Spirit had used so much. They had meta pop. They used literally all their ultimates. They keep chasing forward. But LGD able to get the big cleanup on these two cores. I mean, even around sort of their own tier two tower, it's so hard for Collapse to get that kind of start to the fight yep. that he hoped for. Yeah, you know, he's getting these skewers onto New. He's getting these skewers onto Shiro. But neither hero feels good to start the action off. I mean, the way it started was awkward too. The X comes out, they skewer, but the X swap was already put on New right at the start. So the dispel comes out. Things get very, very weird and. Yeah, at this point, Spirit, look at how much they've already used. Meta was used, RP was used. Quite a bit was actually used before that. Full chase on towards New, and at this point, it's the fact that they, they kind of forgotten about Shiro. You know, he just yep. is able to get this opening immediately on towards Maposhka. But we'll get that extra bit of time with the fact that Collapse dragged Shiro away. But at this point, it's all bind down to the two of them. New, he's hitting these hoof stomps every single time. Huge connections. And even the double leg, of course, connecting on both there with that soul bind. Nice. Constant, like two for two trades. Gold continues to speed. Oh, that well, they want to keep it going, LGD. They yep. do not want to allow any time for Yatora to get his items on this Terra Blade. They know there's downtime. Right? For Spirit, they need every single spell. RP five seconds. The final Poshka on his own. That's right next to the Roche. Uh, now they can likely force it. Yeah, they're they're going to go for this for sure. Phantasm. Oh, Shiro had just hit 18 off that kill, too, so actually gets the level 3 Phantasm. Sends an illusion to the wave. Should be able to finish it off this time. No ET to scout. Yeah, they've got oh, great team fight, but even, even as a support, you know, is a crucial Radiant part of that. Tower. With him gone, Team Spirit, they won't look to contest this Roshan. I mean, Maposhka really is the biggest scoutish, scouting element that they have to be able to find this Tinker, find these initiations early on. Look without just collapse, YOLO blinking in. Which Collapse can now do also. He does have the BKB finish, so a little bit more liberty for the Magnus to pick and choose how he goes in. But now, into that Aegis. See how much LGD can get done with this Aegis. Two's on the horizon. Got a Philosopher's Stone to get in this game also. Okay, look at all the supports got Phillies. So we have four Philosopher's Stones in. Radiance Middle Tower. Sound is good. It's all right. It's got the BKB done. Really starting to beef up on the Terra Blade. I mean, they have what? Is that the double? Okay, double BKB. Laurel not quite having his just yet, but definitely going to protect quite a bit versus this control that we've seen from New in particular. Put themselves back up despite getting this Aegis. They're trying to work their way towards their next items. We've got the BKB just a recipe or so away from New. Yep. Essential to have a much easier time just kind of getting in with the Who Stomps and being able to reset and looking to come back into the fights with further jumps. They are grouping up though. They are potentially going for a smoke out here. 
Roche in a very deep position. I mean, look at this warding expedition from him. Oh my He's goodness. Getting away with it. By himself, runs in and gets a pretty beautiful ward down. That's going to scout quite a lot from LGD. That is not going to be expected at all. So could even catch maybe a smoke that comes out. LGD looking to perhaps get more assertion on the map. They actually buy a gem pretty early. I think this is. I think we've been seeing quite a bit of 20 to 30 minute gems, but wanting to take advantage of this age is not perhaps with this. Jump into Yatora. He's going, really maybe. scaling up to be an absolute beast on the Terra Blade. Top CS right now and, and very much closing in on to ship CK's net worth. Who knows what could go down? I mean, the, the Tinker versus the Terra Blade always. So, as big as that TB gets, sure. he can fall very, very hard. But, you know, nothing to say, not necessarily in a point where he's kind of zooming past everyone in the net worth, right? He has been held back, still in sort of that mid area of farm. Level 20, getting the E on this next, making sure that there's very little chance the Spirit can lock down and kill the Tinker in the team fights by going for that BKB into the E on. Because the team fights will be one thing, and the high ground push, that's going to be quite the other. You know, we don't see a lot of Tinker. We have you know, the first Tinker appearance that we're seeing here at yes. uh, this international. Radiance pushing into this hero, it, it, it's never easy. I mean, pushing into Tinker is never going to be easy. Pushing into Magnus Elder Titan is not going to be easier. So we yeah, could both sides. strap yourselves in. Could be in for a long one. Spirit, they're on the hunt. Boshka, Alarm and Collapse. Do a quick sweep of LGD's jungle, see what they can find. Still not quite a BKB finished up on Laurel though, so it does probably have to be a little bit careful how far forward he puts himself, at least at the start of the fight. Die. Oh, so they'll find anyone down here. Proper scan around the, the creep camps to see if anybody's stepping around this area from LGD, but LGD completely on the other half of the map. I'm dodging going out here. I mean, Pushka's ward is still alive somehow, even though the gem, the AA was out, he wasn't able to find that one just yet. KB done for new. So Hart completed as well for Shield. For the AC next. Oh, I mean, levels. Don't feel. Hey, everything just feels very, very close. It's going to be some crazy team fights that are going to dictate this. It does feel like. Shiro, 20. Hits your. Yeah, have to play that bit more aggressive. Really. Yep. 40 seconds. No signs of a response yet from Spirit. Radiant's bottom look at these. Is the LGD attack. supports are looking to play Radiant so far back in these team fights. Both of them actually finish up a later, Dyer's later than usual Aether lens. Attack. You see Planet and both Why You Smile looking for that. He had the Aghanims queued up for quite some time on this uh, this Grimstroke, but looks like they want to switch up the way they play Dyer's their style. Just look to play behind those tanky cores. Radiant's bottom tower is under attack. We're gonna go through the twin gate. Radiant's Try and get this play where they, they sort of come in from behind. He's potentially pushing out on the bottom. This could catch at least somebody off guard here, but oh my. They can find. They won't walk into mirror quite yet. How many times does this happen? I mean, both here? supports here by the looks of it are going to get away from this, but Poshka and Mira on either side of this blue that LGD were trying to come at the map. Passing in the night. Silver Edge done for Yatoro. He's in that top spot now in the network. Unless LGD finds some further fights, Yatoro, he is going to start zooming ahead of everybody, Shiro included. Yeah, the greed is definitely starting to bay off big time here, Yatoro. This is going to be such a crazy, crazy collapse of everything together, but that greed, of course, a 4K lead. Find a fight with the Aegis. They're nope. about to have it expire here from Shiro. The question is if they want to try and find something without that. And they'll finally find that ward that was placed. I, that lasted almost four minutes, that ward that Post was able to sneak in there. So they got quite a bit of information, you can say, from it. Where do they go? What's, what's the plan? It's been pretty calm for me. I mean, who, who when was the last time there was a kill? It's been, what, like six, six minutes or something. Who is feeling more calm in this sort of situation? Is it Spirit or is it LGD? I think it's pretty equal. I think they're both probably feeling yeah. pretty good, right? I mean, they have an NTS Tinker scaling versus a Terra Blade, but Yatoro's probably telling his team also, guys, I am, I am fast. You know, I'm getting away with murder. I'm getting away with so much farm on the map here, but it's really going to be up to how those fights be dictated. Who gets the jump? And even then, even later on, it's, are they going to be able to even break base out of it too? Not easy for either side. Little bits of vision. Spirit trying to reclaim those. Both teams close to one another. Can charge. Get some vision himself there off the back of the Silver Edge, leading forward. Once again, LGD 
to the twin gate. And he's ready to hold around this area. Yeah, just now here in Poshka. All up, it, it really does feel good. It's just going to go down to that one big jump. Whoever gets the vision, whoever gets that control, whoever finds one of these squishier heroes, is nothing to say going to be able to use a rally of team fight with rally of spells in a long duration team fight, or is it just going to die right at the start of it? These moments, you know, Yatoro just item after item, getting very close to being able to get the nullifier. Now, pretty much is his sixth item. Already here, 34 Radiant's minutes on the Terra Blade. So the landing stage, nothing more than distance, distant memory here. So the full recovery has been made by your toy. Nice running as a unit. Look at the, how they're just running together across the map. All five heroes of spirit. Wherever your Toro goes, they go. Radiant's middle tower is under attack. So you need drum. Some more sort of catch heat. Yara is pretty far up right now. Tiana's here. Just can't get a bit of an illusion. You need onto an illusion. They're, they're going to be aware of that by the looks of They won't try chasing me. Yatora is going to walk into the midst of action. Yara's going to... So they're ready to the support to be caught. Just mirror for now. Yatora's going to try and fight. They're trying to lead in onto a support. He's down. He's down to the bottom. He's isolated. What's the BKB? The Yatora. Yatora. Coming in. He's down to try and get the Thunder off. And he'll be able to help bring down one more. He's still being completely focused on by Shiro. The stun comes in. Yatora is ready to show back away as he gets set with the infant. Shiro controlled by the top. Going down. He's going there for collapse. They take down Shiro. And Yatora survives. Oh my god. Like she did so much damage. I guess it was the E2 and everything in combination, but it feels like the E2 actually did so much for Zero. I mean, it sort of seemed that there was a point towards the end of that that the rest of LGD, they sort they of bailed out on that. They knew that there was no saving Shira. I think after that initial attempt where they weren't able to 100 to 0 Yatora, they sure they hit him with the blast, but of course that Sunder, it's still going to be there. Gets himself back up to full HP, and at that point, the whole move, it starts to get a bit tricky for LGD, and they end up losing their carry. So far, I mean, NTS, he can't actually do, I feel like, what he wanted to in that last fight. He got Radiant's completely ignored. Top. Just actually unable to blow up any of the targets. Who was actually holding the gem there? I think, okay, Neo actually kept it. So, LGD did not lose their gem there, but a decisive fight there from Spirit this time around. Yeah, big stuff uh, for you, it's all right. Getting in and getting out of that one. The team bailing him out with the multiple Grinnicades, I believe, as well. Trying to just weave in and out. And that was what I think is... First BKB revealed too, right? So that long duration one where they can't actually break through him. That was the money for the nullifier, and now we're well on the way to well being able to way. pick up that blink dagger. Playing it cool and calm on Spirit, waiting for the action to come to them. They have such a good lineup to be able to go for those counter initiation plays. They're ready. They're ready again. 30 seconds till that RP is going to be coming back up. Still positioned around your Toro. He might still be able to, to burst this Terra Blade, but they have to stop him from getting the Sunder off. They Every time that Sunder's off. there, getting him from 100 to 0 twice is probably not going to happen right I, now. I think we're going to... Okay, yeah, I was just thinking. They had the E-Blade queued up on the Tinker for a long time. I think the Hex is necessary. I think they have, to, to, have it. Yeah, they have to have that 100 to 0 control to be able to bring down this TB before he's able to get Sunder. Last coming in towards the pit. Spirit it's holding this area. LGD, they are approaching. He still does have vision on that right side, too. Very close to Shira having the AC done. Yeah. 100 gold and he'll have it. Doesn't mean he spent all out. Middle tower is under attack. Oh, that's he does. That's, 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 that's definitely a bit of a risk. We know how quickly this Terra Blade is oh. going to be able to put down towers if a fight goes well for Spirit. And he also has no boots now. So could be a position where he just gets kited a lot in these next fights if he doesn't, isn't able to stick on these targets. Going to get the Roshan here, Spirit. As LGD not able to interrupt this. Aegis now, Yatora. So even if they are able to burst him, he's going to be back with a second life in this team fight. That is a huge deal. Collapse now also is going to have Lincoln, so he's going to have the freedom to always be able to get those initiations now, too. Spirit. Die. Patience is working scan. out for them so far. LGD is still not afraid to step out of their half of the map, though. Crossing the river. How close to the Hex? Nothing to say is getting very, very close to it. Definitely going to be eyes on him. 2 1 and 4. That's going to sort of take do. a lot of time to, to catch up on the farm, but very much in a point now where he's. It's getting to that stage where a, a nice bit of tinker play can take over the team fights. He does have to watch out, though, as you mentioned, the various saves that there is. And the top of the ROM that's always going to be coming out from Laurel, which he's probably going to get off in every single one of these fights, has to watch out for these glimmers and resets as we saw in that last fight. And he's fine, he goes straight for the E-Blade instead. Okay, just wants to get the real burst damage. Okay. 
I mean, maybe feeling, as you say, even if he's able to have the lockdown of the hedge because of the fact that the saves are there, you know, having that control, that's not necessarily going to get the job done. Maybe better to just focus on bursting the rest of the lineup so that they aren't alive to save and back up the Terra Blade. Hey, the, the push is going to start commencing, though. And yeah. they have a lot of ways to poke. And yes, he gets caught. Yeah. Right, 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 one little catch, collapse, no hesitation. They go on a torrent to scout the tree line. I think it was, well, setting things up, and now the push is going to be coming in. And it's going fast, these towers. I mean, there's no tinker, there's no way to slow down. At least they tier two still up in the other two lanes, so they may just let this Rax go. I mean, it's, it's so risky. If they buy back and he dies, that could just decide the game. So they're just going to sack the Rax. But Spirit, they're lingering around. They want to go for another catch here. Collapse, eyeing his opportunity. Oh, he is. You have to be careful if you get close to the walls of your base here. Collapse will be ready to tear you out of it. So many different ways for them to reposition on top of that tidal wave too. LGD. It's definitely starting to look like that maybe LGD just weren't able to get enough done in the mid game. Spirit taking over and they get any sort of catch like this, especially if it's nothing to say, they're going to be on the verge of taking another set of racks. He needs to be way more careful with Radiance his positioning here. It's just not attack. easy. A lot of repositioning as we see. And Toro looks in. Meta is wearing off, but they'll get the tier two and they'll be able to back off. Pretty damn good usage of that Aegis. It really is. 9k lead now for Spirit. They've broken one of the hardest things you can to do in this patch, of course, breaking Radiance that high ground. First step. Despite the fact that nothing to say is responding in a few seconds, Spirit heading back to the their half of the map. LGD, they're trying to chase. The cooldowns are all coming back up, though. Meta is still on three, about 30 seconds. Oh, that they're ready. Shiro, oh, he's, he's looking. Get pull back into the stun. We'll see you throw down the fight. The defensive disruptions there to try and help the Toro out of the combo. But the Forest Stone comes in. Jump on. The Toro is coming. Can't get the Thunder. Right out the side of the Toro. Be able to get back on the fight. Please, Shiro, try to keep me out the BKB. Oh, please. He's caught by the RP for Kalash. Shiro is going to be going down. They've lost the ZK for 85 seconds. New surrounded here by Lala and Kalash. The Toro went pulling it back over towards Kalash. In the river, nothing. He manages to finish off Mira, they're but they're losing two of their cores. Shiro and you take him down. They keep your Toro up. He gets oh. the thunder. Well, oh, nothing to say. We'll manage to get out of that one. But why? Looks like he won't. I mean, they were so close to potentially being able to burst your Toro at the beginning of that fight, but I think sort of the straight target Mira. of the Toro store, it caught the Tinker at the start of it. Nothing to say. Tried to get in position, but as soon as he was there, it's up in the air. They get another kill on a YU Smart. It's three dead on LGD Spirit. Looks to push in. I mean, so clutch by Mira. That disruption there. It makes him actually lose. He dodges his own teammates from buff, but it gets the same potential. It's well worth it so we can get that Sunder. Just beelines it to Shiro and gets it off. Very close towards the end of that. that and maybe nothing to say. He, he, he nearly didn't get out he himself. Did not. And now Meta's back. That was without Meta in this yep. fight. And Toro didn't even need it. Now onto high ground. Collapse 40 seconds till he's got RP, but they're still fishing. That's all the little damage they can do at Spirit. LGD 20 seconds until they've got the full squad back up. I mean, just uh, nothing to say, I have to be Radiance so careful. Literally one, one stray spell catches him, he's very likely dead at this point. Radiance top Another Rax to fall. Radiance top Completely taken down is Spirit. Wow. With a very comfortable hold on the game right now. Still yet to sort of find that fight where LGD are able to set up and allow to, you know, to allow this Tinker to just run rampant. It just hasn't happened. So it would feel like enough control and enough burst. They have the one stun that comes in from the Centaur, and then you know, save that yeah, yeah, comes out from Team Spirit. Then boom, there goes your Tor, and the rest of the spells just come in. Beautiful execution so far from these, these two supports on Spirit, honestly. Just these little, little saves and resets they've been able to do with their, their Glimmer Capes and even Disruptions. As we're seeing, Sean New, you know, he's, he's incredibly it's tanky, big, the same to be said for Shira, but... At this point, Spirit, they absolutely have the damage to still take these beefy boys down. They're always going to have the percentage damage that comes from the ET and just the overwhelming damage that, of course, kicks off from this terrible, uh, from this terrible, yeah. Oh, and Clap actually goes for even more, uh, even further. Blink. Blink. Yep, the arcane blink. That Love extra, it. extra little bit of a range as well can really catch you by surprise. I look at the cooldowns as well too. Six point two second cooldown blink, seven point nine second. Yeah, cooldown. he's going to be jumping in, skewing you out, and then he's going to be pretty much as soon as he's done that, ready to jump back in and again and skewer someone else. Yep, the fight's getting harder and harder. LGD. Who do they focus fire is the question. They have to, I mean, it feels like they have to focus fire the support, but they have to deal with these these, these cores as well. I mean, I know they just don't sort of have the same. 
Impact is starting to fight. It's the same strength that Spirit has. Now, at the end of the day, this Collapse RP, it's going to reign supreme if he hits it. I mean, the big team fight, in particular from Spirit, is going to reign supreme. Uh, and they're going to be able to get the opening here. They might just have to let Planet go here. LGD is they'll start backing away. They'll let Planet go. Uh, collapse. And another catch. He's going to grab it with the RP. Straight back into the RP. Look at this they're damage. The sense on you, dead in an instant. Can't even get out of the stun. They can't fight them here, LGD. Spirit, too strong, ready to push the waves in. Look at Shiro, he's looking to try to do I mean, something crazy. Shiro. He's going to try, he's going to open up on a mirror, but the Eon Disc is able to assemble it just in time. Mirror's on the bleak count as well, he's getting he's alive. The buyback will come in from you, but Mirror, he walks out of it. But barely a scratch, the TP out there for love. Mirror also has the TP away, nothing to say, he'll find my Poshka. But they get... The, the majority of them out, they only lose the one of them. They force out a buyback from you. Things continuing to go in Spirit's favor massively. It's, yeah, domination. They even cut the creep wave. Yotaro just sends an illusion even after all that too and kills every single creep in mid. All they find is the five position ET. Beautiful identification from Spirit. What do LGD do? Are you setting up for the high ground? Are you continuing to just try and take your chances outside of the base. You buy the Hex on the Tinker and yep. you hope with this level 25 that you're going to just be able to get some consec back to back to back to back kills, but this is not easy at this point. 30 seconds until Roche. Will NTS be able to make that happen? magic happen with a Hex and a 25? They also do have the Agonimus on the gun stroke, so that's, I guess, the other thing that we can look at. Will there be a... Enormous dark portrait of that terribly that maybe can also reign super rare. Not an easy fight. It's alright. He's hovering around here. Him. Oh he. If he if he catches nothing to say, he'd be ready to jump in and, and try and try and get aggressive upon him. GD see if they can to catch on towards the Kunka, but well, not getting tripped up. They won't catch him for now. Earth's just been dodging. I feel like pretty much every single movement from LGD. All the moves that they tried to make in that mid-game to be able to slow down this farming draft from Spirit, just, they were not able to connect. I just like they have complete control on oh, yeah. the, sort of the second half of this game. Team Spirit, LGD. Look at Collapse, he's been ready. Been all over the place. Two seconds. Back it up, but Raps maybe setting up some time. Look at Yotaro. Look at Yotaro and Laurel. Radiance Middle Tower. Catch this Tinker when he's doing the split push. Yeah, they, they want to make sure that when they go high ground, once again, they've got all waves in good position. They don't want to allow for the split push to happen from LGD. Roach is also up, so they, they have to go scout that one out. Yeah, it looks like they should be able to claim this one, but this is maybe LGD's chance to go for the fight here. I mean, they have to try something. Are they aware that it's up, though? They do have a scan. So they pulled up. Which angle of approach do they want to take? They have a ward on the far right side. Do they want to take their chances here? The, the, the next fight, wherever they choose to take it, it may just be their last one. Why do you want to give a full Aegis cheese and a refresher yeah. on a team with this Magnus though, right? It's like you can almost feel too happy the Hex gets purchased. It's so hard to fight into. Eyes on nothing to say. Can he make magic happen? They're in a much more favorable spot here. I think they, they see Oh, he's right the fog. Okay, popped up for a quick second, so we do see Collapse now and then inside that tree line. Tough target to go for him. There's double saves behind him. They might just have to go for the risk. Jira. Heads in. We'll be going in underneath that sentry and observe a combo. The lanes are starting to be a problem. Yotaro sending illusions. I have nothing to say to clear them out for a second right now, but... They have to be careful with their positioning every time the Tinker goes back. I just don't know if they can do it out here. Look, every time Tinker resets, you see Spirit feels a little more bold. Step up. Hey, the collapse. Yeah, we're trying to get the jump. Had to put the BKB. The two of them will get caught by the soul line. They got the dark portrait on both. The dark portrait. They're coming over the head today. They're taking collapse out. Shiro moves forward. Look towards Lost Lock. Hunt the BKB in the back. That's time. It's on down. Now get down. Rips the tower. They can TK here. But the BKB is there. Hunting the tower. Trying to do it. RP at two. RP catches Shiro. Catches down to the tank. He's in the middle of the roof. But it's just easy, a buyback from Collapse, and he wants to keep this fight going. Screw over the wall view, he's pushing back the sensor. The further buyback's coming in the TP as well, over the wall view. The backup will be there, the Hex from Tinker, nothing to take, comes into play. The jump one, they take the it the second time. That's two. Die back on Collapse. Yotaro, do they have detection? 
they Ooh, find they got the poison. But Shiro buys back. I mean, five this, versus four. This is the window that they have to abuse. Two minutes without the Magnus in the game. LGD, they have to go for everything. New to He's in. Who's up straight away on him? Poshka, he catches him on this attempted escape with the TP. But Poshka oh also the fall. goodness. And what a way to start a fight. The double dark portrait really coming into play, taking out the Mag the first time. A lot of buybacks though. LGD, oh, they can absolutely breathe sort of a sigh of relief here in a game where they were getting nothing. They found something. They found something that collapsed out of the game for as long as he is. This gives LGD the room to get into the Roshan, take this Roche for themselves. What a beautiful initiative. Mean, the way they started this ward, honestly, vision is something we always tend to talk about. That ward on the side there, as soon as they see a moment to sneak in and get that dark portrait, they do get a beautiful connection on two. Not an easy move to make. Not an easy move so we'll see again how they were able to pull this one off. It all started with the attempt for collapse, but as you say, the Soulbind into the dark portraits onto the two, and there's just so much damage coming out to collapse, immediately going down at the beginning of the fight, and from this point onwards, things started to get tricky here for Spirit. I mean, look at the Radiant micro also, from, I didn't even notice on the left side there, but the dark portraits with the stampede just starts chasing the supports out as well too, it's, it's chaos from them, chaos inside this moment too. And you hearing some fantastic hoof stomps towards the end of it all, and even at this point, now maybe Collapse felt that he was going to be able to walk away from it, but the buyback from nothing to say coming in, TP view meant that there was no escape and they find that huge kill taking collapse down twice oh, holy. now with comfort of an aegis too and nothing to say a bit better for him a hex now also for planet been fully finished up on this grip joke so more levels of control that they've actually started to now pick up they were kind of lacking for the as well you know the fact that there's so many yelling. of them there honestly it was lucky that they did only lose yeah. for at that one yeah, if they didn't make the call to just go for the Twin Gate, he could just catch like a double sun and even kill out the Terra, but he could just... seeing a different high ground push. Uh, either way, this game in a much better spot now for LGD than it was a couple of minutes ago. Yeah, Aegis, a cheese, they also have the Refresher Shard for new. Pretty massive. There's plenty of buybacks were expended in that last fight. Just the two supports on the side of Spirit have it left. The Grim Stroke does too, but he spent his goals. Planet did commit for the full hex. Vision, I mean, initiation's still gonna be a big thing we have to watch for. They're able to get that kind of jump if they see collapse on the initiate and go. Looks like that could be the answer for LGD. They may have the Sages, but with the state of the game, likely that LGD do hold things off until they get their next round of items complete. Can't get it too ahead of themselves. A bad fight could cost them the game. Getting to that point, 51 minutes in. They like that for a bit on both of me. Taro with no buyback to it. To be so careful with his positioning. LGD all grouped together. It's gonna be a scary four minutes for both sides. Who's gonna be the one to take the bigger risk? Who's gonna go for the big play? High risk, high reward at this point. Win it, we call it. Level 25 starting to be hit. CK also now has gotten his Shiro. Quite a bit more damage. Spirit just staying completely away from this. Right up in their base right now. Only Maposka that's sort of stepping out here and there, trying to get some vision out for the wow. team. That was great. The rest of the squad Good. making sure that they do not leave their high ground. You know how many ways that LGD have to set up with these the invis, with the jumps. Setting up all over the place too, just with the tinker. They can just they have to stick as a unit on the side of T Spitter, they will get outnumbered and caught outside the base. And it's left on the sages. Shira just consistently on the hunt. This is why Spirit is staying as far back as they are. Just with the DD on this CK, Shira, if he finds someone, oh, in a pretty bad spot. Texas. Texas, the dark portraits, their own allies turning against each other. Something to always look at here. I mean, the post just considering he almost has his hex too. Holding on to the buyback, of course, first. on the acronyms on your tour. With the buyback on cooldown, he wants to spend up as much as he can. Start finished up, he's pretty much yep. hitting that critical mass when he does have it finished up. Seven minutes until those glorious neutral items as well, too. Is that a very likely game that would go the distance? So far it is. 
Yep, you've got to be watching out what the sort of the, the, the mirror shield, the axe machin is, the, maybe the seer stone for some of these heroes. Nothing to say, an extra bit of protection for him. Centaur buyback available. I think for the Grimstroke zone soon too, on the side of LGD. Difficult for them to force anything though, still playing into this Magnus, playing into this high ground defense that Spirit has. Just looking to control the map, sweeping across side to side. Two and a half minutes, really, until we see the, the majority of these yeah. buybacks come back up. Spirit, they're looking to time the hit with the Aegis, though, going down 20 seconds, nothing to say. They're ready to take this risk. They find the Tinker. Yeah, okay, they're going to be aware that this sort of move is coming in. I'll know that Spirit will want to try and abuse that Aegis timing. Look at the Illusion battle in the mid lane. The CK Phantasm versus the TB Illusion. Very exciting. Not to find anything here, Spirit. Let's check to see who has more at the moment. Not seeing any on the side of LGD at the moment. I didn't see if any couriers have one. Got one okay, on they the have one, one on the courier. Okay, one on the courier also. So. Each of the supports have got one to pop here by your smiling planet. So two smokes on the side of LGD and... I don't see one on the side of Spirit, though, so for the next upcoming engagement, it would be difficult for them to get that angle if they don't have the initiate, initial vision to be able to get the jump. Well, the acronym Shard now from the, the Tormentor out onto Nothing to Say, which could be quite something still against uh, Yatoro right when he's uh, <laughs> kind of used BKB and said, that reduced attack friend. <laughs> yeah, you know, it's, it's something. I don't think I've ever seen more player use Mira. Oh. Let's jump here. Go the end, just go the red. Continue to follow this up on the side, but what's because it's kind of just as they can find more here. Spirit also take a head down and the illusion. What an angle. Get the charge stop on the BKB. I'll come back and take that. He's not even in the midst of the fight. The time's going to be the throw. He's going to be the RP lockdown. They're the same. They take it nothing to say down. They take it off you. Spirit fire back available for nothing to say. Have you done for two minutes? The Atora also had a five. They get as well. And they don't have buybacks. They don't have buybacks. 50 seconds until Chiris is back up. And, and nothing to say, he's not even got the money, even if it was back there new. Trying to hold them out. He's able to I do a pretty good job. There from there, buys a charge for your door. He's just dead. He they knew. What the? This. He's keeping this game alive here with the score collapse. He's trying to find planet for the blink out. The dark portrait. Sure. The dark portrait's done the damage. Planet takes down collapse. Holy cow. <laughs> I can't believe they held on. <laughs> I mean, new and planet. They lost their carry. They lost their move both without buybacks. But it doesn't matter. The rest of LGD pulled and keep this game alive! I knew and Planet have been doing it for a lot of this game, but holy crap, they just actually killed Yatoro. That was a wild fight. I mean, we'd have to see it again, but this was pretty much Yatoro and Collapse versus the world, killing three heroes, and then they just get turned on by the Centaur Grim. Oh, man. I mean, Planet having a hell of a tournament. Let's see this one again. The angle of approach there from LGD at the start, too, looked beautiful. It looked then good. The jump in from Yatoro, I mean. <laughs> and they weren't afraid of anything here, Spirit, at the start of this fight. They knew how strong they were, if they could get this Terror Blade into prime position. And for pretty much the 80% of this fight, it looked fantastic, right? Yatoro is here. Collapse has got the hold and control. They take out these two huge cores. You know, and, and, and nothing to say to start things off. Of course, New's got the buyback. But to say, Shira, and nothing to say, they did not have the buybacks nope. ready. So at this point, Spirit, they've got to be feeling fantastic. They know that these buybacks are still on cooldown. So yep. Yatoro, of course he's going to push onwards, but New Radiant and Planet turn it around, and, around and Yatoro caught absolutely by surprise by the potential for LGD to do so. It's these split-second things, too. If you saw that, we hovered over Planet for a quick second. It was like Radiant's one second back. until that Dark Port comes back strange. up. So every little thing matters at these points in the game. And yeah, Team Spirit, they could taste the victory there, but it's very, very swiftly knocked away from them once more. LGD keeping this game going. Oh, man, we're getting blessed. Two and a half more minutes until those neutral items come out. Everyone's buyback soon coming back up. Gold, of course, still needs to be acquired for some. Fresh, Fresh on now. now. Okay. Salvo of that ult. Going all out. It's still a... A little short on the buyback off that perch. It's only a thousand gold. I mean, that's the thing, of course. Same thing for nothing to say. I mean, they're both. He, he'll have it shortly as well. Yep. And indeed, in terms of overall buyback situation, definitely in a better spot for Spirit. It did cost the buyback from New and Planet to pull off those moves in that last defense. What run do we get? Shield from bottom. This time around. Tense moments for both sides. Vision, jumps, everything. All important. 
Trying to kill up these supports seems to be a very big answer as well, too. They're very difficult to bring down with all these Aeon Discs and protections. Planet, even now having a Shadow Blade of his own to try to hide himself into the back lines. I mean, he could be one of the most important heroes oh, he in the game at the moment. That Dark Portrait, yeah. it's a big difference maker. Double X, double no. Dark Portrait. It really could set any of these fights in LGD's favor, especially if he's getting it on the big course. If he's getting it on your Toro. Is still hanging on to his gold. Just seen him. He has the gold for the hex, but he's just been sitting on it, waiting for those buyback plays. Hitting that timing where it might not be too tempting to take risks with the, the new tier of neutral items. Just one minute oh. around the corner. He might have just queued up. Radiance not quite yet, but perhaps we'll see one. Push. He wants to step into the pit now, both teams. Having a formidable team fight. There's just there's very limited vision from both sides at the moment. That one ward placed up top at the moment from the side of Spirit. Wave shoved in. Collapse. We're looking for some type of fishing play here with the X marks. Pretty good ward from Spirit right now. That has not been taken out from LGD. They're this, is giving, the this is giving a ton of information. Planet, Planet, he's gonna get he's gonna get caught. Caught. And the BKB will make sure the collapse is never pull him back. He, he went, he got aggressive. He tried, I mean, he got the dark portrait of the terribly, but he put himself in an incredibly dangerous position. Yeah, bit Two of minutes, a, no grim. Bit of a bait there, really, from Spirit. Oh, collapse immediately in with that jump. Instantly pops the refresher as well, so has the second RP ready. Absolutely. If the rest of LGD tried for anything, they look to swing attention over to the other side of the map with Twin Gates, get down there. They'll be able to get go this straight right. into the pit. The rest of the Metamorphosis should be able to take this down. Now, I like how there's just no hesitation though. They, they, you know, these, these players, they have all the timings and everything they have. They know this Grimshaw did not have the buy, so no hesitation to get that RP up. I mean, honestly, yeah, and as we said, at this point, it's it's pretty much it's the pick and catch the they can one. get. Yep. They can get Planet before you shot any of the spell lines off. The team fight's gonna look to be in a pretty solid spot for Spirit. Look all right. The Roshan, Aegis on your Torah. Here come the tier fives. What do we get? See, it's pretty, to pretty say. busted one on I the tinker. I think that's the one he was open for. <laughs> Does he have a telescope? On his team too. I know he was carrying the telescope for quite some time, so he won't have both. He won't have a telescope plus his seer stone now. And collapse, he's ready to go with a bit of an ode to his previous TI performances. The horn toss now online. <laughs> More than ready to start pulling heroes out of LGD's base. The high ground defense is not gonna be easy. No. Next Machina now also for Yotoro, the constant refresher on refresher. He actually sells his refresher himself because he has an next Machina. He'll buy it out, buy out a full eye Scotty now for this terror blade. Giant shrink for new. Potential 10,000 HP Centaur definitely coming into play as well, too. See what's going to be stronger. The, the, the ability from Team Spirit to jump in with Collapse and rip heroes out of the base, or the potential of nothing to say is Tinker just to, to, com to completely infinitely hold the high ground with this insane amount of spam. Oh. He's got a Seer Stone as well. I love it. He is going to be jumping in from a mile off, and there we Look have at it. Get the grab on Hawaii smile, then pour on AK Apparition out of the game. Oh my god, oh this my is god. so this, insane. This, this is this isn't even fair. I mean, you can look at the blue screen. He's going to be catching everybody and anyone. You saw him put it in. They get the jump on the Jiro. Drive Scoot him out of the base. Come down here with the Rose Rider's new jump squad. Open with your Torah. Who's got that? I'm so excited. You are killing your Torah. Open with your Torah. Let him take it inside the wall. TP makes him away from the Porsche will not be They got Mira. This is the highest tier of Dota that you can possibly imagine. These players, this is absolutely insane. I mean, dude, dude, like, killed Yotoro by himself, it felt like. I mean, this Centaur, what an absolute monster. And they start the fight as well, but they sort of nearly got that clean start with the skewer out, but I think what was the soul by right for Planet. It caught him stuck, right? It, it stuck in mid skewer. Yeah. It looked a little weird, but I was like, wait, what is this interaction? I thought okay. he was stuck on the lamp or something. You know, was he going to end up outside of the base or in the base? Nope. Oh, he's gone to the magazine, he's got them. 
He's got <laughs> an easy X mark player from Yatoro and Lal. And honestly, that's that's something to be concerned about for LGD because they that, that sort of move it could absolutely come in again. Going for the tier fours, going for the ancient LGD. They've got to get all these streaks pushed out of the base and get that back top protect and back in play. Yeah, we see it again. Yeah, yeah. good. I, I mean, that can barely see. It looks kind of weird, right? Because it pulled one, but the secondary one didn't Dice. break. All right, cool. Just, say, you're, you're just getting it on your he was on your I mean, it's sort of him against the four here as a spirit yep. that could not hold back this giant three sends off and just slamming down the Terra Blade. And look at his target prioritization. He sees the TP coming out, they stop ET, and then they he go immediately goes for Mira, too. The quick moves. Right, this is some incredible spell That's quite the push now. They're able to get this push going down the mid lane. They've taken the tier three themselves here, LGD. But they're not going to be able to get anything more out of this one and Spirit, they're pretty much all back up. I mean, I love that you're seeing the smiles. It's such a stressful situation, but I'm sure both teams are having a hell of a time in that booth. Still anybody's game, but there is mega advantage at the moment for Spirit. A big advantage on those objectives, and they're starting to get the Book of the Dead as well, too. ET has that one picked up. Also, has changed his build up a little okay. bit. Too. He had the hex yep. all kind of done. Switches it up for a BKB. He wants to be able to stand inside the midst of the fight. Absolutely wants to survive and make sure that this aura is being pumped yep. out the entire time. Everything, everything matters. Every little thing. Why oh, are you smile? Right? Still holding on to what he's going to decide to go with with his tier five. Look at the Book of the Dead. Okay. So they've got that extra way to keep these waves pushed out. Incredibly important to do so, as I say. You know, they have to be prepared for the fact that Spirit, they can absolutely look for, for these X mark rat plays with the Terra Blade to try and close this game up. Ooh, nice, and they get a Book of Shadows. I, I think maybe, I, I'm always wondering, like, what, you know, maybe why you smile had the Book of Shadows or something as well to on the Book of Dead, maybe contemplating they're deciding which one he wants, but. Another form of saves, Mira has two charges of disruption and he has a book of shadow so crazy amounts of different plays he can do to protect his allies still as we saw before a collapse he cannot be underestimated no. from how much of a distance he can jump in and grab someone lgd they're stepping out of the base here bro they got a vision collapse and now we're gonna duck in the hold on drop back straight away in the fifth with that being drawn the first to throw it in push to the rock and then take it down and shiro's still alive they brought the metamorph to the big game he goes for a second round shiro he's trying to escape him with the invis he's trying to jump forward he's actually gonna drop back with the xbox shiro's out of the game as well huge catch collapse you've got to be ready for this magnus and he's got uh, another one he's at the ready perfect layering of skills too gets the terror wave while they're skewered so they can't pop anything Immediately get control of the full hex now for the Kunkka coming out. They're ready. Well, they've got to stay right by their fountain. Honestly, if you, if you step anywhere further from the entrance towards the edge of this base, Collapse will find you. Uh, the blink range is absolutely ridiculous. He can almost hit the tier 4 from where he is right now. A little harpoon play as well, too. Zora. Next plays. Proceeding onto the tier 4. You try with the jump in, but the X-Mark drag back's there. Poking and prodding, the towers are dropping. They can just keep doing this with the X, and with that X Machina constantly as well. Trying to hold out on this buyback. Can we get away with that one, but the tier 4's gone. The Ancient now exposed. Oh it's all right. X. Four again, they catch up the X, but the X Mark's there. All for you. You need someone on the block with the X Interrupt, and comes into play. Turn up on the wall. X, I'm alive. He's got down the Q. 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 He's got down Rules up here, the LGD is ready to save try from Pudger, second time around, but Diablo Glenn and Dutch, it doesn't matter, he still finds him, jumps him with a who's done, this shadow, the blue shadow's there for Mira, trying to buy some extra safety here from Pudger to get away, but New Insurance stay upon him, they bring down a second new with a double kill, they push back to the tide of Team Spirit, damage still being done here by the Book of the Dead. Oh, this could, I mean, this game could end in a pretty kind of cloudy way, where they just say Book of the Dead and the X Machina and everything. It's just so much rapid, they the 67 minute mark. And there's no glyph for how long, okay, it's 15 seconds, they're gonna have it back up soon. I mean, can True I, defense of the can LGD push out quick enough? I mean, it, it is a minute with well, no Mapochka, no collapse, but it, it just doesn't feel like enough for LGD. I think they're still going to just con get consistently held in their base. You he's ready to go, man. He's got the X upon him. X. They can take him out every single time. They're hunting behind, though. Mira? Ooh. Get away. You can find him there, but Mira indeed will manage to escape. Spirit. You just got to keep their composure and they should have a solid chance of closing this one up. Oh, they know actually, they know that Yatoro went all the way back to base. The Phantom actually chased him all the way across there with the X, so they know that Yatoro is back over here. 
Nice. Getting the lane pushed out a little bit here. Book of the Dead shoving out bottom and top. They have Tinker pushing. They have all three heroes in the mid lane. Still a little bit of a window where maybe they can try for something while Spirit Ooh, can't the three of them up. They catch the ball. outside of the base. They get it with the opening strike. The second round is working. Front left to the center. Ready to burst in line. Mira comes in all over to try to try keep him safe. But Lars still goes down. And now Mira. Up into the high ground trying to chase him out. Gets pushed back by the turret away from the Toro. See if they can force any of these buybacks, Lal, out for two minutes. Nice blast to scout. Oh, they can connect the collapse. It's not like they'll capitalize on to this one. LGD, they don't want to jump the tier four for now. But 100 seconds, no clunker. They're getting their lanes dealt with. Why your smile just continues to shove out bottom. Laurel getting greedy, getting outside there for just one. A medium camp gets punished for it. Quick little scout there from LGD. Guard done now for nothing to say. No. LGD, they're absolutely in position to try and jump again here aggressively Dang, into the base scared. of Team Spirit. Has he used the warp flare, by the way? I'm right. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I've ever seen anyone use the warp flare. I Why? Yeah, too many buttons. He's too many buttons. Too Why? Hits 25, another pretty big impactful one. He's going to help him clear out waves and in these team fights, more chaos. Got their lanes in a good position for the fight. 60 seconds, still no Kunkka. Idea of heading out into the triangle. A risky play. Oh, we need to collapse. We can find a grab. Look at the ward down. That seems a little bit low there on the for this relic. Doesn't actually get up into the high ground. So I'm not going to give any information in that regard. But back up to the high ground of their own base. I mean, they're considering it, but then they're probably like, yeah. Our coach is coming back in 30 seconds. You know, our lanes, they're still pretty okay. Yeah, they're, they're sort of happy to sit back and just hope that LGD don't push in within these next 30 seconds. Wait for the full five man to be back up on spirit. Your stone constantly being used to get vision around those high grounds. 70 minutes have been hit. The wisdom rune. You are not 25 yet. Everyone's trying to hit it now already, eh? Yep. Across the board. Yep. Everybody. So 30, I guess, for laps. But... Time on this race. Just a minute. One more minute. Yeah. The Roshan coming up. Yeah. They got smart. Yeah, they know. That rush could be getting up pretty soon. Yeah, it's it's a, and the GH has, has collapsed. That sort of is, is the team right now. This Magnus. They've got more buybacks right now. They have a lot more bodies they can throw on the side of Team Spirit. Two buybacks not at the ready on the side of LGD. How could the axe done on Shira? They do. So an extra way to sort of disrupt the initiation from Spirit. I mean, New is. Illusions pumped out. New is in already. He's wrapped right around the back. Pumps the shooting guard. You tore up. On this. Tore up planet. Tore planet. They found the Grimstone planets out of the fight. It's Five back right. straight away. You see here, New and Shira still trying to see if they can wrap around from the side. But the Book of the Dead, it's out upon them, kind of stopping them from being able to lead them in the way that they want to. Shira, they found him. Shira gets the grab back. Drew in the RP. Full focus on the one. The gap down there. Take it. His magic catching the perfect heroes back to back drags them all the way across the fight with that skewer. Roshan's up, Spirit. They can look to take this. I mean, oh, well, she, but, I whoa, 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 should still be able to have the luxury of taking down the rogue shaft. That's so wild. How much damage there truly is, but overall the catch again and again from collapse has just been beautiful in these. See, I mean, th this Hagen is going to the SD or the, uh, the Elder Titan. Ooh. Oh, he's got yeah, you probably give it to Mira. Yep, give it to Mira. You can imagine so. And also taking the ages. Ages? Well, I mean, the saves okay. are pretty damn important right All now. All right. All right. Cool. Love it. Supports justice. 
Uh, I mean, definitely makes some sort of sense, right? Especially when you know, you're Toro right at this stage, relying on the X-Machina to sort of refresh his items. He, he, when he pops the, the metamorphosis, he, he can't really afford to go down and then come back up. Everything I mean, has to be invested in keeping him alive in that one life and making sure that the Shadow Demon is always able to save him could just do so. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's besides just for these disruptions and stuff, too. Just having, I mean, more and more demonic purges is always massive versus this Tinker, so it'll be huge here for Mira. More and more potential to do the save out. Toro as the push commences. Now approaching the base once more. Shiro's back up, immediate smoke from LGD. Okay. Well, he'll be ready to join the Pusher Spirit in 10 seconds. Of course, worth noticing, Fortification is back online for both sides. And Neo, his buyback is back at the ready. I don't know why, I just feel like for Neo, he seems to be the most important hero on the, on the side of LGD throughout this entire game. One minute until Shiro has it. Okay. So our X marked up, jumps in to get a bit of information. Big boom. X back. His blast won't connect. He blasts. He will connect on two. He's got the refresher at the ready, so he can go for another round. Oh, and he's looking for it. Right, to check out along the tree line. Won't find anything other than an illusion on this jump. But of course, with the low cooldowns, he is ready to jump time and time again. Hey, he's ready to go every single time. And Miposhka also with his 25. This Earth Splitter cooldown, it's actually doing an immense amount of damage versus these super tanky cores at this late stage of the game. I mean, this Centaur has like 8,000 HP in a lot of the fights. 40, like just 4,000 HP gone instantly. Can LGD hold this? Four versus five. Buyback would have been back up in five seconds, but Shira, he's low on the gold. 1,600 short of buyback. Spirit, let's collapse. He'll get the grab on the AA. Quick drag back on Y. You smile. A couple of hits from Yatoro. And the AA is gone. Oh, okay. the They're looking to try and close it. They're straight onto the H. And the buyback comes out from Y. You smile. They'll respect that immediate back off. I collapsed was so quick, he actually popped his own refresher the second the AA buyback comes out, gets himself out of there. No hesitation whatsoever. I doesn't want to get caught out by no. this blink fuels ice blast combo that Why You Smile can offensively play with. Spirit, still hovering around the outskirts of the base. Collapse, looking for another grab. Smoke up from LGD, they'll look to try and stay hidden. They are going to have to Radiant reveal themselves soon, though, to try and pull the creeps off the Ancient. They kept it cool, they didn't put the fortification, they still had that as a ready. They gotta reveal their book though, their book is just standing there, at least to start clearing out some of these creeps, because the building is starting to go down. Oh, the oh. is ready to drive the reaction, pop the metamorphs, since you look to close it, but the fortification's dead, they were able to force that out, Spirit, they'll back off. That's their only one. Ancient's already down to eight, half HP. Toro. He's gonna back up and reset for a second here, gonna get X, he has 20 seconds until Matt is back up. Oh, look at that, jump! Look at that, they jump to the drums, and that's a real hard back dude! Shut up, he did a good one! Another save. Dying time for a pot's gonna protect you more okay, This one is yours up. The setup there, the pot can still make it. It's gonna be taken off the movie game. Another save. He's gonna walk away. The pressure pot from Lali's gonna be ready with another round of spells to throw down upon them. They look up the one here. They could have lost the money plan to the parade. You saw it in the BKB. I do. Don't want to get out the way. Trying to get out the way. He's only gonna die. He's only gonna die for two minutes. They've lost you. And there's only gonna be more. Collapse. You're back on it. After this, a team guy is out. Collapse has done it. The two biggest targets in field they just call it. Is wow. Spirit, take this game one, 76 minutes in. Wow. LGD despite their best attempts with his consistent hold to keep this game alive. It was just too much for them at the end of the